8D REZ 2014-07 Ed and Evelyn Lund 4701 Knights Ferry Road EA ED R. Mr. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, the request in this case is to ultimately try to allow for an event facility on the property to host the weddings and meetings, etc., that Mr. Lund has been proposing. Um, and still allow for it to be fairly agricultural because of its location. I can tell you that we've been working toward that aim and ultimately the process for Mr. Lund is basically to um, attempt to successfully obtain the zoning needs for this and then work through inspections and fire rescue to try to um, update and approve the buildings for the various assemblies and such. So right now we're really on step one. We've been working with him through staff for the rezoning level and have gotten it through uh, the Planning Commission. And as of uh, yesterday, uh, we started conversations with the county attorney based on some uh, previous concerns we've had with other users and making sure that we have our conditions properly defined for an event facility. Um, as a result of those conversations between staff and Mr. Lund that have really gone all the way up basically until this, until this meeting, um, we believe we have at least some conditions that will help tie the event facility up uh, and try to help define it so that if someone else besides Mr. Lund or Mr. Carmelo or myself are interpreting these conditions, it can be clearer. Because I think that was the main concern from the county attorney is trying to make sure that someone who has not been as involved can interpret and enforce these conditions if they're so chosen. <coughs> With that, what I'd like to do is I, I hand it out the latest draft of these conditions at your desk and I've also given a copy to Mr. Lund. Um, probably the last question that was that was raised was resulting in outdoor concerts and I have some language to consider for that. But ultimately, um, Mr. Lund, we've talked about tabling this potentially to iron these out for another two weeks. Mr. Lund's preference is to try to move forward, so we're trying to accommodate that. Um, and the conditions that you have before you, I think, are current, except for um, one sentence. Uh, in the second condition, 1B, um, after the word outdoor concerts, I think there should be a sentence there that says, outdoor performances by bands or ensembles that are accessory to a meeting, retreat, celebration, or wedding shall be allowed. Basically, we don't want to allow outdoor concerts, but if there's an outdoor reception, that's fine. If there's something related to an outdoor celebration, that's fine. If you're holding a mini outdoor concert out there, that's not okay. So that's our attempt to try to clarify this in a way that we hope we can move forward tonight. But honestly, um, there have been a fair amount of updates since yesterday. Um, we continue to work on this. Some of this language is new to Mr. Lund as of yesterday, tonight, this morning, and, and again, uh, just a few minutes ago with that final outdoor concert. But um, this one has, uh, has not been as clean, but we continue to try to work on it should the commission want to move forward in a way that we feel like the county will be protected and it will allow Mr. Lund for his proposed uses. Do we have any questions for Mr. Depp? Yes, Mr. Chairman. I notice it says uh, no more than 300 people. Is he agreeable to that? I, I know for a wedding, that yes. can be small, to be honest with you, but at the same time. I know Mr. Lund will probably comment on that during the public hearing, sir, but honestly, that number came from some of the conversations with him where he felt like some of the facilities that he's constructed now, which is what the site plan limits him to, were at their capacity at around 300. So we tried to reach the upper limit of what he thought he could handle and really wanted to handle on the property. Not saying he couldn't handle more, but he is very involved in the administration of this property felt like 300 was, was stretching them when they got up to an event that time. Normally they're around 150 in their afternoon. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Mr. Davenport, can you read the supplemental sentence that you wanted added in one more time, please? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, right after outdoor concerts, it says outdoor performances by bands or ensembles that are accessory to a meeting, retreat, celebration, or wedding shall be allowed. We just wanted to clarify that the upper end outdoor concerts are not allowed, but the lower end things that are associated with some of the events we had, those are fine. Okay. Any other questions? All right. 
is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address. My name is Ed Lund, uh, 4701 Knights Ferry Road, Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, I appreciate this time and I appreciate your consideration of this. <coughs> Help, uh, like Jason said, I was handed this different verbiage within about five minutes ago. I've read it, you know. Uh, I have no problem with the verbiage, you know. The weddings that have been performed out there over the <coughs> past years have uh, been very tightly organized. Uh, in the number of years that we've been doing weddings out there, we have never, never had a complaint from any of our neighbors. We have always made sure that the county ordinances in regards to volume of music and that type of thing were followed. And also regards to our website that the county has an ordinance that the music needs to stop at 10 o'clock. You know, this says 11 o'clock, which that leaves them a time to get there to uh, to stay in and finish up the wedding. Uh, we've had numerous weddings out, of, out there over the years. Uh, I have no problem with the 300. Out of the weddings we have done in the past four years, uh, the average wedding is 157 for the past four years. I can also give you an insight to that. When I mean 157 people gathering at the site, they arrive approximately 15 minutes before the wedding. You know, the wedding, they sit down either under the trees, you know, most of our weddings are. You know, the wedding's performed, the wedding takes approximately 30 minutes. You know, at that point in time, at that point in time after the wedding's over and the, the guest move, 25% of those people go to their cars and leave. You know, the next group go to the reception place and they'll eat their food and talk for another 30 minutes and then another 50% of the people leave, you know. And then after the dancing that evening, the music and that type of thing, approximately another 30 to 45 minutes of entertainment, you know, another 25% of them leave, which leaves approximately, if my figures are 25%, you know, of the people that may stay around. Most of it is a wedding party. Most of our weddings out there last on the outside of four hours, you know. If they are do, having a small band or a DJ for dancing, like I said before, this is very, very important to us. We live in the community. These are our neighbors, and over the past nine years, we have never had a complaint from a neighbor in regards to the volume of music or to, you know, the how late it stays. We, we tell the brides and the grooms that at 10 o'clock, you know, the music needs to stop, you know. Now, if they want to stay and enjoy each other, talk, you know, and that naturally we let them do that, you know. I'd like to, you know, any questions that you would have. Uh, we have any questions, Mr. Lund? Good, as long as you're comfortable. As long as you're comfortable with it. The, the only thing I want to uh, the thing that Jason handled that, I'm very satisfied with it. You know, when it said concert, you know, we're not going to have a paid concert out there where somebody comes out there with a band and we have 15,000 people there. You know, that's just not going to happen. You know, but that, uh, essentially that, this, this is fine with me. Okay, good. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, Mr. Lord. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Hearing none, we'll close the public participation portion of it and turn it back over to the commission. Motion to approve with the uh, addition of the uh, verbiage from uh, staff. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, call vote. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. Thank you. Agenda item 